Aloha, my dear friends. My name is Georgie Radif, and uh, now I'm going to show you how to make one very tiki cocktail, which is explosions of flavor, like very uh, different uh, flavors that goes inside, but they combine perfectly as a one uh, flavor on its own. So uh, the cocktail is called Mauna Loa. We will uh, put two different rums. Again, we go with the light rum. I'll put uh, equal measures on, on uh, this one, uh, 30 milliliters each. So we go with the light Cuban rum, and then we'll go with uh, heavier, longer fermentation, more pot still inside, uh, lots of flavors, uh, Jamaican rum. Okay. Orgit is used uh, in lots of uh, tiki cocktails. It's used uh, in one of the most famous tiki cocktails, Mai Tai, as well. 15 milliliters. Then, after that, I'll add some uh, Angostura bitters as well to get that aromatic uh, uh, spices going on inside of the drink. Fresh orange juice. In this particular cocktail, it's very important to use fresh. Then uh, mango juice. Mango juice is going to add that nice tropical flavor inside. 30 milliliters of mango juice as well. Okay. And uh, then we're going to add, well, we're going on with that tropical flavors. Very ticky drink. So we're going to add some uh, um, real pineapple as well. 20 milliliters of real pineapple. And then in the end, 30 milliliters of fresh lime juice as well. So much, so many aromas going on. I'm just putting the ice and I can feel the aromas straight away. Okay. So now we strain this into the, the tiki mac. Designed especially for the, all the, the real cocktails. Amazing. Pineapple leaves. As I said, absinthe is used a lot in the, in the tiki drinks. So it's not just a gimmicky fire that we are making. This actually is going to be adding flavor to the drink as well because the absinthe is going to sit exactly in this here and you can drink it as, <coughs> as, um, as it's on fire. But then eventually that's going to tip off into your drink as well. So it's going to add some flavors in it as well. Make a little blazer on the top, so it's a bit theatrical. If you make it on the bar, you will see everyone looking at you, or if you make it at home, <coughs> you, will, uh, um, you will attract everyone with it. So what we do, so you get the cinnamon here, and as you're pouring, you get a bit of cinnamon on the top as well like this, so the volcano is erupting. And then you see you've got the, the lime is still burning, and, and you, you can drink it as, 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 as it goes and it burns. So, there you go, guys. And uh, you can enjoy that very, very tiki cocktail explosion of flavors called Mauna Loa. Thank you.